Hey guys, welcome back to Red Flash Station. My name is David. Uh, and now finally I can say welcome back. I mean, it's my second video. So, yay. Um, I want to thank everybody. I want to thank everybody. We're um, about 205 subscribers already, which is amazing. It's crazy to know that my first video made it to 200 subscribers, so I'm excited. Thank you so much for those who, uh, who subscribe. And uh, the ones who are not subscribed yet, uh, I invite you to stay so you can watch my video and see if you like it and then subscribe. So thank you very much uh, for everybody. Um, there's a couple floss tubers that subscribe and I was like fangirly. So I was excited. Um, so yeah, it's been exciting. Thank you so much. Um, today is going to be a video of cross stitch, of course. Um, and hopefully as I keep going, I'll make, I'll make a better introductions, but now this is, it. this is what it is. <laughs> so, um, I'm going to show you my progress through these two weeks of what I was working on. Because uh, my first video was uh, Whip Parade. So now is the real thing, right? So now I have to show you my progress my progress that I was making these two weeks. So I'm excited to start. Um, so the first one I'm going to start with is... Um, Let me just take all the floss out. So I have my tracking card here by Edwards Designs. Um, this one is this one is Open Gambit, uh, Opening Gambit uh, by Longdon Samplers. It's a the fabric is a Lugana thirty two count, uh, and I'm doing it two over two over two. And the fa the color of the fabric is uh, dark um, cobblestone, and the floss is thirty six eighty five. And this is what I have so far. <clears throat> so last time you saw it, uh, I just had the border, and right now I have the castle and this little chest piece, and I'm about to make that little monkey that is up here. I'll show you the picture of the before here and the after of the two week progress. So yeah, I'm excited. Uh, I like working on this um, project, especially on this fabric uh, on Lugana. It's one of my favorite, um, one of my favorite um, fabrics to work on. Uh, so let's go to the next one. The second one, actually the second one will be this one. This one is, uh, Ever Flowering Garden, uh, by, uh, Owl Forest. Now this fabric, I dyed it. I dyed the fabric. And it's a 28 count even weave, one over one. And that's what I have so far. I'm going to put a picture here of last week, uh, two weeks before. And this is, the, this is what I have done so far. So I did the little berries or whatever they are. I don't know what they are, but there's some kind of fruit in my eyes. <laughs> in my eyes, those are fruits. So, um, so yeah, I did all of them. I did the, the um, this section here and the little uh, the little basket. Now, if you guys remember this one, my uh, one of my friends did a conversion on this. Um, on this project because uh, he didn't like the colors of the of the original colors 
So he did his own conversion and I liked it. So he gave me his conversion. Now, if you guys remember this last one, this one was, I was, I said I was going to change it because it was the same tone of the fabric color. So I was going to change this color, the, uh, the 3753, I was going to change it for a darker blue. And this is the, I bought 806. But the thing is, when I was stitching the, and basically is for this little basket here. I would say it's like a, like a pot, right? So, uh, what I did, I was stitching it, and I was like, no, I'm not liking it. I'm not liking the blue pot in there, or a pot as, with a blue color. So, I'm like, no. So, I wanted something more like a brown, goldish color, and I decided to change that color for... 3828 so now this is the the one I changed so instead of blue I changed it to brown like a brown gold color and I like the result of it and it's so tiny so cute like I like um, how tiny this project is so that's what's making it more cute <laughs> So I enjoyed this so far. I haven't worked much, you know, it wasn't much uh, that I worked on, so. But every time I pick up this project, I'm in love. Uh, I keep working on it, I don't wanna stop. I just stop myself because I have to work on other projects. Um, and hopefully you guys will see more um, progress more progress on this one because I really enjoy uh, stitching in it mm. so my favorite drink is energy drinks and especially with a lot of ice oh my gosh one of my favorite things especially rock stars not sponsored okay um, next one I'm going to show you is a uh, SAW. This is an acronym for Stitch Along. I'm going to show you how it's going to look like uh, as a, the whole project. Now I'm going to show you the um, two weeks before. Okay, and this is the now. This is the now. <laughs> this is what I have so far. So on the last time that we were here, you guys saw this section here. Uh, not everything was stitched, like all the like the inside of the heart. Um, basically, everything that had it to be variegated, it wasn't there. Only the dark colors. So I did the um, those little fruits in here, and then I started doing the January, February, March. I started doing the March section. So I'm I'm start the way I do it. I do the uh, the basically the. I don't know how to say it. Basically all the border of everything with the dark color that it's asked for. Well, not that it's asked for, but the darker color. And I started doing this, the the base of the of the um of the pot. Now I stopped working on this one because when I was doing this border here. I messed up and it was saying like connecting so I had to redo it and then when I started doing this little this um, circle 
I did all the way here, and then when I got here, it was not centered. So I'm like, uh, I had to um, frog all that and then restart it over again. And that got me a little bit frustrated, so I stopped working on it. But uh, definitely, I'm going to wor keep working on this one. Hopefully, tomorrow, I'll do more on it. But this is how it looks like so far. It's a beautiful piece. I'm, it's just stunning how, how the colors are. I didn't even know. I wasn't really thinking much about the colors. and But I like the result. And of course, it has to be an iron. But I don't iron it yet because I have it in a hoop. So, um, sorry. <laughs> So, I don't have that many whips, you guys, because um, I was, uh, you know those days that you're tired, but you still want to stitch, and then you don't want to stitch, but you force yourself to stitch, and you're stitching, and then you don't like that project, but and then you change it to another project, thinking that you'll enjoy the other one better. And then you still don't enjoy it, but that's because you're tired. Well, that was me. That was me, and I was just changing, changing, changing uh, projects. And so I don't have that many uh, whips. I only have... Next one I'm going to show is, uh, especially this week, these two weeks, uh, went by so slow. I don't know why. I felt that, that it, it was going so slow. So, anyways. Um, next one I'm going to show you guys is... Um, uh, I'm not prepared for this one. But I will leave you the picture of the cover. I say Heaven and Earth Design. It's White Buffalo Woman. And it's by Eska... Something. But you'll have the picture there. Okay. Now, uh, you'll have the picture of two weeks before. And this is uh, what I have so far now. This is how. I... So what I did was, if you see of the before picture, I had more threads here, and that is because um, I'm no longer going to do the parking method. I'm going to do the country. I know last time I said I was country, and then I'm going to go parking. But the, the reason why, I don't know if you guys can notice it, but here, when I started doing the uh, parking, 10 by 10 uh, squares, I was doing a 10 square and then going up. 10 square, going up. 10 square, going up. And look, I, I can notice, I can even notice through, through the camera the the lines the lines of the tent stitch I don't know for me it's noticeable so I stopped doing that I stopped doing that and I started doing diagonal again but I I did a lot I did um the whole I filled up that whole diagonal and I started doing another one right here so little by little, I'm getting rid of those threads. This is one of my favorite designs. And I'm starting to see more of that tree uh, and the sun. So I'm excited. I'm excited. Um, I like, I enjoy working on this project. I was working with it for three days. So, uh, next time I'm going to be more professional. Um, going to start writing down how much stitches I do per project. So you guys get a better idea how much, how, how much an average I do per, uh, per week, right? Or at least per project, you know? You guys will see, oh, well, from two weeks to now it's been 500 stitches and you can see the progress. Uh, and 
and it'll be better for you guys. So I'm going to try to do my best. I'm not good at doing planning. Now I did, uh, I'm going to rant right now. Not rant, but I'm going to, uh, how you call it? Rabbit trail? I say it rabbit trail. <clears throat> I did buy my uh, 2021 planner a while back. I started writing on it. Um, well, I bought stickers. I like, since I like owls, I put it in the cover. That's my letter, my initial, David. Flowers, because I love flowers, especially indoor flowers. I'm a... Uh, collect. I'm an indoor plant hobbyist. Um, I like to collect indoor plants. Um, anyways, I'm going out of content. So this was May, which I started doing some writing, and then I stopped. And there's some flowers. That's a ladybug. Yeah, that's a ladybug. Um, and then I stop. So hopefully, uh, I'll start using this more. And I can write down every day how much I do per day, you know? So you guys get more data than just me showing you a project, okay? So far, I remember of telling you guys if it's um, two threads, one thread, oh, the, the saw, the modern fork and brewery, uh, fruit of plenty. Sorry, I did not eat. I just noticed I didn't even, um, I'm new, you guys. Give me, give, give, give me a slack, okay? <laughs> um, I, I was trying to go pretty fast. So this is a linen. Sorry, you guys. Yeah, huh? uh, this is thirty-two count linen, and I'm doing it one over two. Okay. F Y I. <laughs> okay, and then the other one, uh, of course, uh, the heaven and earth design. This is twenty-eight count Lugana, not nah, twenty-five count Lugana, one over one. Okay, and then oh, like and then like I was saying, I I'm, I bought the planner, and then when I went to Target, I found this uh, sticker book. I'm pretty sure you guys know about this. It has a lot of a bunch of stickers. So I'm thinking of uh, I'm going to try again and try to fill my planner with, you know, my. Extension count, uh, my planning, my thoughts, my everything, and then fill it out with stickers. So that's going to be my my goal to accomplish. Finger crossed, because I'm not good at it. I'm not good on planning, like you guys can see. I'm all over the place all the time, and probably that's not going to change. So. I hope you guys get too used to it and you guys don't mind a lot, okay? So the next one, I had a new start. Uh, my new start is another Heaven and Earth Design. It's uh, Akus, uh, Akus, Akus, whatever. Um, and then, I'm not sure what, who's the designer, but of course, I'm going to put the picture of the, the cover picture. And this is what I have so far. This is an 18 count Lugana and I'm doing it two over one. So I started on the top right corner. And at first I was doing uh, parking method again. Which I don't get it. Like if I was having that trouble, that same problem with 
why Buffalo woman, why continue with parking? You know, I'm not saying it's bad. Some people have it, you know, they're careful with their attention. They're careful, um, you know, they have their own little method so they won't have that same problem that I'm doing. I just need more practice. Um, and I think I just dropped the, oh no. Okay, I thought I dropped the needle. Um, so I started doing the parking method, the first 200 stitches. And then I changed it to, now this is a new method I'm going to try to do. I'm just going to choose one color and do the whole, try to do the whole, unless I'm bored of the same color, then I'll change it to another one, but then go back to the same color to just do the underlining, like the, the lining. Cause you know, the horse has, you know, the hair, the face. Um, I look at it on Pattern Keeper and you can, with this one color that I'm working with, uh, you can see the, um, the whole face, you know? So I'm going to do one color first and then go to the next color. And then once I'm done with the other color, I will do the next color. And I'm going to do it that way. This is my first time I'm going to, um, I'm going to try that way on a full coverage project. So I'll let you guys know how it works. If I like it, if I don't like it, uh, if it works, we'll see. I'm pretty new at this. I'm pretty new at this. So uh, with every new heaven and earth designs or full coverage uh, projects, I try to do something different because you always want to try to um, learn new methods see if you like it you you don't you don't know if you don't if you like it if you don't try it so that's my thing I'm going to try it um, and see if it works so far I'm liking it so we'll see into we'll see later uh, in a month or two see if I keep going that method or I change the method okay um, now purchases, I only did two purchases and I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm back. Uh, I had to go get my tablet. Um, so the next design that, uh, I bought two patterns. One is on Etsy and it's, um, in Autumn Lane Stitchery. I'm pretty sure you guys know this designer. This is a floss tubers. Um, uh, you know, and I'm, I, I bought this pattern and the reason I'm showing you on, in the tablet and on the website, cause every time I try to download it and then the download try to save it on my Dropbox for some reason, it does not save it. It saved it on my Dropbox, but once I try to open it in the uh, Dropbox, it doesn't let me open the file. So right now I haven't had time to actually print the file, the print the pattern. Uh, so that's why I'm showing it on on my tablet on through their website. But I just want to show you that uh, my purchases uh, and this is um, the one I bought. I like the I like to stitch houses too. And autumn is coming, so um. I want to stitch it. And it's called Autumn Town Cross Stitch Pattern. I think that's, what the, that's the name of the pattern. So that's it. That's the pattern. Look at that. I like the colors. Just the colors of Autumn. They're nice. Look at that, uh, look, that's cute. <laughs> that's very cute. So yeah, I bought that pattern. I just have to go on my computer, download it, see if through the computer I can open the file. Um, hopefully I can and then I'll be able to print it out. 
Okay, and then my second purchase that I did, I did three purchases, but the other one hasn't come in yet, so uh, I'm still waiting for it. Uh, it's been about two weeks now, so I'm going to message that person, see when I'm going to get my um, my uh, my order. Anyway, this next uh, next next. Da, 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 da. This next one is uh, is going to be a saw that is going to start this coming month, and I'm so excited uh, to start this one. Um, if you guys know, it's called a Quaker a Quaker Christmas. And this is a saw that. Uh, Vintage, the Vintage Stitcher is going to host with uh, this other, I'm not sure if the other person is a floss tuber or not, uh, but there's two people hosting this this song, so uh, I think so, don't call me, don't call me on that, I think so. I just seen her channel, I just seen the Vintage Stitcher's uh, uh, videos. Um, and I know she's doing it. So, um, yeah. If you guys want to follow her on Facebook, you guys can follow her on Facebook. Same name. I still have to get my fabric and my uh, thread. My floss. And I don't know what colors to do, actually do it on. So I'm excited to start this one. I haven't had any Christmas projects. Actually, no, I don't have any Christmas projects. So this will be my first one. And I'm excited to uh, to have one, you know. And hopefully finish it this year. One of the... Uh, one of the people that follow me told me if I stress over too many projects. No, I don't stress. They told me if I stress because I have a couple saw going on. No, if I don't finish it, I don't finish it. Uh, it's not doesn't trust me. Like if I start this one, I'm not going to start it. I'm happy starting, you know, stitch along with all these people uh, in this group or whatever. Even the modern fork and worry, the fruit of plenty. I like stitching with the. Stitching along. If I get behind, I get behind. If if I stop doing it, I'll stop doing it. But at least I enjoy it through through that you know through the beginning. So I I don't stress. I don't stress over anything. So that's that. I think that's it for now. Um, next time you guys will see me will be in two weeks, and. Again, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for your comments. I had a lot of comments. They were so nice. Uh, some of you guys gave me um, suggestions because I was talking about uh, project bags um, with um, little pockets for your floss. Um, so thank you so much for all the suggestions. I will still keep doing searches. Um, one uh, one of you guys like one of my um, one of my projects, and you guys went straight to purchase that pattern. Um, you guys went straight to purchase that pattern and that same floss, and that makes me happy. <laughs> that makes me happy that somebody enjoyed it. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, yes. <laughs> um, look. Oh my gosh, I, every time I see this piece, I'm in love. Like, I, I really enjoyed it. Look at that. Gorgeous. Anyways. So she went, she saw it. She liked it. She went by the pattern and then she got, she's work, She's using the same floss as I am. So, I, I'm excited. I'm excited the way you guys are um, coming along and, you know, being part of this channel and me being part of you guys. So thank you, thank you so much for your uh, comments. Um, 
you know, your likes. Two, 200, it's been, it's like a thousand two hundred views so far, which is crazy, 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 uh, for having my first video in two weeks. So, I already made some friends on, uh, on Instagram. I'll leave you my, my, it's the same name. Uh, so I'll leave you guys here the Instagram. Either way, I have all my links down below. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys still keep liking it for those who are new and stay here all this time and still want to see more. Subscribe. I invite you to subscribe. I'll leave my uh, thumbnail there so you guys can subscribe to my channel. Until next time, bye.